Hey all, I'm Carice. I'm Nick. We're here today to show you how to mix flex tint in five easy steps. You know, we don't normally wear this uh, this contractor garb to the office, but today we made an exception it's for our you. our contractor so, best for yeah. you guys only. You're welcome. So, we're going to start out with this flex tint cartridge. This has the tint in it, and just as a reminder, one of these goes into one of these to make a pre-mixed type of stain, okay? We're going to start out with the label here. It's an easy peel label, has the color on it, has the lock code. We're actually going to stick this down um, onto the bucket. We're going to stick it right next to, it doesn't need to be pretty, right next to the lock code uh, of the neutral base. So that way we have great tracking. We know what's in this pail. That's really crucial. That's right. So next thing we're going to do, remove the lid from the pail. All right. So we actually have an amazing innovation. Everyone hates removing the lid. We know that. Look how easy this is. Oh it's my great. gosh. Okay. We, we may have pre-done it so we didn't look dumb. Carice actually did break a nail uh, when we did I'm that. I'm kind so of just ticked off about it, but yes, we pre-baked <laughs> the cake, people. All right, so next step, take your flex tint cartridge, put it in your caulking gun. Very easy peasy. Pull the cart, the trigger. 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 That's okay. what that's called. Oh, trigger. Until it's just in there, but don't pressurize it, okay? You don't want to be squirting stuff all over the place as soon as you cut the nub. Yeah, if you do that, if you really start to go without cutting the nub, I've done that because I'm such an expert, and it just goes behind the plunger and makes your cocking gun a whole mess. Yeah, big whole so, mess. And so. then you don't get the right amount in the pail either. So Where's my, where's my cigar cutter? Okay, so I happen to have a cigar cutter, you know, from my daily smoke this morning. Um, so I'm going to cut the nub with this, but you can use a utility knife or whatever you want to do it. So we're just going to get a nice little thing here. Going to get it, and you got to squeeze just a little bit. There we go. And it has some tint. Okay. It does have some tint on it. So we're going to get a rag over here just to put it down, so we're not tinting stuff. There we go. Now what we want to do here is you can see there's a little tint up here. We do not want to do this and hold it down. You can see nothing's coming out. Um, but in general, we want to keep it like this, okay? So transformation is going to be a little bit more prone to dripping than capture, um, but just in general, let's keep it up. Now we're going to get into our use soccer pose. You all know what that is. We're going to take a picture like this, okay? And now we're, I'm going to put this on the rim of the pail, and we're just going to start, going to start flex tinting. Just That's as right. easy as that, you know? So really easy to dispense. Um, I'm not particularly more strong than all of you, um, so, <laughs> so it's really easy. Got to the end, and that's what's great about this. Now I know that all the tint is in the neutral base. I know that I'm done, and this is an advantage over other tinting systems. Yep, so. it's a consistent amount every time in the cartridge. Same as what you're going to get in a pre-mixed pail like we have over here. Yes. Yes. So you get consistent color. If you guys have something left over in your shed or your garage, and you decide you need to get some more and you decide to use flex tint, you're going to get a consistent color every single time whether you use flex tint or whether you use the premix. Great, great point. One of these plus one of these equals one of those, okay? Yeah. And you will, will notice too when we took off the lid, we got the mahogany that you're used to seeing in the premix. Over here we have the albino and it still looks like the albino, i.e. neutral base, before we actually mix it in, okay? Right. So. so next step. Hello. Yeah. There we go. This is our favorite drill driven mixer. I call it a finger mixer. I have no idea what the official name of it is, but kind of looks like a flower. Does a great job of scraping the stuff off of the bottom, the solids, the pigments, whatever, as well as mixing at the same time. What we're going to do is mix both of these pails for three minutes a piece, mm -hmm. and then we're going to get you close ups so that you can see the difference between the two. So you know what to expect whether you're using a premix pail or using the flex tin. So, you ready to mix? I'm ready to mix. We're ready to this mix. This is fun. So now we're going to get a beauty shot um, up close and personal. Or does it really matter? I don't think so. I don't think it matters. Alright. 
mahogany to mahogany, right? Mahogany to mahogany. All right. Here's the next. Get that bottom straight. swirls in here mm -hmm. just like we did in the premix and those mm -hmm. will you know settle out a little bit as things sit and of course you got to be mixing every 10 to 15 minutes through Austin yeah. so and boxing boxing pails well right? you should be boxing yeah. your blending somehow yeah. with every single pail whether it's flex tin or not yeah that's either either way right so guys hey I really appreciate you spending time with us here today. Thanks for that finger point. That I'm just nice. making sure our camera guy's okay. <laughs> so the evidence to use it is, is that it's so easy that even I can do it. So you should have no problem, okay? Right. Um, this is Flex Tint. Um, let's get the good picture here. Flex Tint, it's another Sashko product that works. Go forth and stain. <laughs>